Even on 9 2021 East Asia Grand Final was one of the best games in the series. Gain used Lydia Beaton and the Lydia Master, Chickling. In this video, we will study James Lydia. When and why he goes for a certain mix-up. How he tricks underrated moves become viable. What tactics he used to trick Chickling. But not only this, I'll show you Lydia genuine witnesses, frame data, and how to apply or defend these tactics in casual level at the same time. The timestamp here will let you easily find the moment in the set for better understanding of the scenario. Let's get started. Ladies and gentlemen, and Yen is your Evo Tekken Asia East Champion. The most impressive about James Lydia is how he utilized forward 1 plus 2. Average Lydia will use forward forward 2 or running 1 as main approach tools, but both are not effective in high levels. Good player knows how to deal with them. Both are linear and have significant witnesses. Even 442 on hit, Dance's transition is not a threat to an experienced player. Chitzo, that's the big question. What is the P? Oh, spends the drive with all. Ball 1 plus 2 may not as good as them on paper. But it has excellent tracking at mid range, recover faster, and still safe on block. Which allows her to parry general pokes or duck highs. The follow up strings also have extra tracking or apply mental advantages to the opponent. In order to make it work like Jane, we have to practice how to hit confirm the first two hits. And he's so good at pulling off. Ooh, political store. I believe it is possible with some training. Sometimes it's not a real big deal to use follow up randomly or even finish it. Some people said that option select can punish all hits. But trust me, during the heat of the fight, it's not easy to do it perfectly or even get baited by fall 1 plus 2. Trying to maneuver his way out of this situation, heaven and earth. Another oh. skill that's made James Lydia outstanding is how he utilizes her stances. A lot of players only use her stances after auto transition from certain moves, as a mix of tools or gimmick. These strategies may be effective up to certain levels. But the player knows how to answer them. It doesn't mean her stances are bad. Go straight for mix up after auto transition may be telegraphed and predictable. But use them in Aki is another story. Let's see how Jane used them. Now we see the chickering. Wow. Trying to maneuver his way out of this situation. Heaven and earth. Oh. It's again. Mm -hmm. Spring kick. I mean, yeah, Jin good for chickering. What can you do down forward one four? What a punish by again. They are punished FF3 then to the lock. Oh, okay, Chickering trying to go for that parry. And now, oh, Gan, Political Storm finished it. Oh, switch. Most of the time, Gan did nothing when he went for stances. I believe this is very good to fish something. After Lydia scored knockdown at the open, 
It doesn't mean she can do whatever she wants due to the distance. So instead of just approaching relentlessly, do stances in a safe position and wait for the chance. It's what Jane mostly did. Of course, Chickley was good enough to recognize his intent, but it's quite effective when I fight casuals. The Oki Sammy will be even better if Lydia caused a low wall slump or side wall situation. For example, a literal storm knockdown at war gives Lydia much more time to do her stances 50 50, which is not able to stop by wake up picks. Always since the last two games, wake up half kick, political at that storm. Kipling was confused by Cap 2 mix up. Ate the wasp flat and lost the round. Jan's tactics finally paid off. There are only three parts remain. Before we move on, please give me a like and sub my channel. Let me do more quality contents in the future. Tournament players are impressive, not only because they have good executions or reactions but their new ideas of moves that are underestimated by general players like how Jane used sidestep 4 I never thought Lydia sidestep 4 is good it's a high, relatively slow, tracking doesn't impress at all it does not even have a basic property like other panic moves actually Jane thought the same that's why he never used it in close combat. But he treated Size the 4 as a keep out tools. In this sense, Size the 4 did a great job. It's not easy to react to it at range due to the subtle animations. At least, Chickley never able to punish it during the grand finals. If you examine the set carefully, Jen didn't do many down back 2 throughout the whole set. You might think down back 2 is Lydia go to low. It is excellent against most cast, but not few, including Jean. This is a very common concept in business, but it's also applicable in fighting games. In order to simplify the calculation, we can neglect other factors like start of frame or hit properties but only use pure damage to get a number. So the equation is potential maximum punishment the risk divided by potential maximum damage the reward. For example, when Lydia fight Armor King, down back 2 is a high crush good tracking nose, which can deal 14 damage. Even Armor King managed to block it, the best he can get is a while standing for punish for 20 damage. However, Jin can launch down back 2, which means the potential punishment largely increased to 87 damage. So the ratio will look like this. If you compare the risk with a half kick, low attacks in Tekken are not rewarding. Although this is not an accurate calculation, but we are still able to understand how bad a move in certain matchup roughly. For instance, I would stand more demon uppercut on Jean rather than on Noctis. Even though low attacks are risky, they are essential. Let's watch how Jane utilized down 4 and down 4 to break down Chickling defense. When Jane hit a down 4, 
He seldom went for a wild standing move because Jin standing four can counter all of them. You saw Jane's Lydia was able to sidestep right after down four. I believe he chose two pace side intentionally because Jean pokes a weaker to his left. After a while, Jane did down four into down one to stop chicken counter attempts. It seems like scrub tactic, but it did change how chicken you react to lows. Down back 4 was another key low Jane used a lot. Although it is plus 1 on hit, he never took this as an advantage because the follow up would easily miss or be countered. Near the end, Kikling became more impatient about down back 4 and showing how desperate he wanted to stop it. Jane finally found the chance when he dug his standing 4 in the final set. It looks complicated, but actually we can mimic them. Find a move that has better recovery, connect it with a sidestep, bad dash, or counter move to form a game plan. Practice it, make it become your habit, and shuffle the plan in game accordingly. You and I can play like a pro. Mind you, I'm not I'm not seeing a little bit of a health uh -oh. from Chikrin, but Jin! Last but not least, is how Jin adjusts his combo according to Axis and Stage Wall. I will tell you why he used down for 2 here. Lydia's stable combo have excellent wall carry, but without wall, push away your opponent is not the best. Finish the combo with down for 2 will leave you at closer position. Lydia down for 2 on hit, then tap forward will enter Pouncing Tiger's stalking move stance. Some of Lydia's best moves are hidden here. I have another tutorial about Lydia Oki setup. You can check it out at the description. Make it short here. EPSW moves will cover all wake up options in this situation, thus the best combo ender for offset. 